Hello, we wanted to talk a little bit about how to be a lector at Mass. We thank you for volunteering uh, to serve with us in the liturgy. And we just wanted to go over a few pointers uh, to help everyone in the church be able to hear you and also so that our ministry goes well. When you're on the schedule for a lector, uh, we would ask that you arrive early, maybe at least 10 minutes before Mass, 15 minutes is great. Um, and please check in at the sacristy which is on the left side of the church, um, behind the wooden thing or um, out the side door. So you'll check in. It's a chance to look at the readings, familiarize yourself with them. And we also have the petitions in a gray binder that are usually in the sacristy. And after you've had a chance to look at both the petitions and the readings, you can bring them out to the ambo that we'll show in just a second. So when you are ready to sit down in the church, we ask that you sit in one of the front sections behind me on an end. Um, if you're at one of the masses where it is a masks required section, we would ask that you follow that or maybe choose to sit on the end of a pew a little bit further over. When it's time for the readings and everyone sits down, we ask that you come forward and come to the center of the church and bow and then simply come over to the ambo. Now, when you get to the ambo, one of the biggest things you want to make sure of is that you're actually adjusting the microphone to a level that's good for you. It's good to have it in front of you and down a little bit since you look down most of the time while you're reading. So when you get up here, adjust the microphone. You can make it look, make it move. That's just fine. Um, get it comfortable. Our church has really good acoustics, so if you don't hear a little bit of an echo of your voice, it's probably not picking you up very well. So when you come up, you'll adjust the microphone, um, you'll do the first reading, and then most of the time at Sunday Mass, the psalm will be sung. So after the first reading, you say the word of the Lord, and you can take a step back, and the Cantor will sometimes come to this ambo, sometimes they'll stay at the other ambo, but they will sing the psalm. And then after it's done, you can come back to read the second reading. If you'd like, you can also sit down on the bench over by the servers. When you're up here and you're reading, we would ask that you remember to read relatively slowly and loudly and to pronounce especially the consonants at the end of words. It's, it's helpful for other people when you work hard at enunciating your letters and ending the words well so that people can hear because especially for those who are older in our congregation, it can be hard for them. So that's one of the ways that we can serve them. You do want to be a little bit careful of names or hard words in your reading. If you need some help, you can ask the priest or the deacon as you're preparing. Today for our reading, which is on the birthday of Mary, we have the town of Bethlehem, Ephrathah, which is a little bit of a mouthful. So sometimes those are good things to practice. Um, that's especially true for certain readings where you get a lot of names and a lot of places. It's not so important to have exactly the right pronunciation, but just to be consistent when you say it about saying it the same way each time. So you have the first reading, the psalm, you can take a step back. If there's no canter or you don't see a canter, you look around, they're not getting ready, either up in the choir loft or over by the other ambo, um, we would ask that you read the psalm then. It's a great place to kind of be aware and to make sure that someone is going to do it. After you read the psalm, you're welcome to head back down to the middle and bow and then take your seat. The priest will read the gospel, he'll preach, and then comes the creed on Sundays and some feast days, even for daily mass, and then the petitions. The petitions we usually have in a gray binder that begins its day in the sacristy and it's good to bring out with you. The priest will probably try and check, the sacristan will probably try and check but since you're reading the petitions, it's ultimately your responsibility to try and make sure that it's up here. It's very easy. You open it. There will be one page. Um, you simply read the petitions. Don't forget that the priest will open with a prayer. And after you finish the last petition, the priest will close with a prayer. So wait until the priest is done before you put it back under the ambo and then head back to your seat. 
After the Mass is over, we ask that as a lector, you would help either the ushers or the sacristan take care of the collection back in the sacristy. It's not hard, you just have to take the money and put it in a bag. We like to have two or three people around as witnesses so that um, there's no accusations of anyone taking money. It's simply put in the safe. Um, and that is kind of your last responsibility. So we thank you for serving. We do encourage you that if you're reading at a weekend mass, that you would look at the readings beforehand. It's a great time to open your heart to the word of God, to read it through several times at home during the week before you get here. One last thing that is good to avoid is to be overly dramatic with your voice in reading. The word of God is powerful and effective and sharper than a two-edged sword. We can let the word of God speak for itself. And it's not helpful for other people to understand you if you try and make it more dramatic than it is. Um, so simply read it slowly, read it well. You don't have to have dramatic pauses. You don't have to try and change your voice. Um, and that's one of the ways that we can serve people well, is to let the word of God be proclaimed as it is, um, the word of God, and to let it speak for itself. It's a beautiful gift that you want to read with us. If you have questions, you can always ask the sacristan or the priest or the deacon who's at Mass. Um, and we thank you for joining us today.